It's our third annual, and uh, with the support of the freeholders and a lot of people in the community, it really has become a community event to the extent that first year I had to go out beating the bushes, telling people what it was about, and getting agencies to come. At this point, I have agencies calling me and asking, you know, when is it, can we participate? So that's a nice thing. Um, the, the main things that I, I want to emphasize, because I want to leave a little room to introduce you to this young woman who is a senior scout from Ocean City, who has um, a, a new initiative to tell you about that is connected with the Disabilities Awareness Day, who is trying to raise the bar a little bit um, for, for the Disabilities Awareness Day, and um, Carolyn Hoke is going to tell you one way we have done that. She's really initiated to do that. But just a few points to emphasize about um, the event that fare free transportation will be available, although it's a Saturday event, uh, but that it's important that the word get out that people reserve um, a space on a fare free about a week before instead of the usual two days. And that's really a courtesy because um, the people who run fare free have to know how many uh, drivers they need and how many vans for the day. Um, it is a free event, both to the exhibitors and to the public. Uh, there are refreshments, which are always very good. We usually provide lunch and some food for the exhibitors. Um, what else do we know? A mini health fair by the parish nurse organization.